Hey, what's up guys? It is Biotech716, aka Profit, and we are here today to analyze slash react to One Piece chapter 890. Now, I read it actually as it was released because it was kind of a surprise chapter coming out because of, we weren't really thinking that we weren't going to have a chapter until the new year, but we apparently got dropped one of the best chapters of 2017. I mean, I t guess this is technically a 2018 chapter. I could be wrong on that, but this was an amazing chapter so i had to just give you guys my thoughts and my initial reactions on the chapter because i thought this chapter was just amazing and it was just like something i've been really wanting out of the whole cake island arc just a full-on what uh, straw hats versus big mom even though it's a nerf to big mom but i wanted to you know kind of go over the major points of this chapter and what the implications are for the story because a lot happened in this, a lot happened in this chapter to be honest so i'm just going to kind of start off with the whole entire thing that big mom is now on the sunny go and she takes basically uh the, she, she takes the piss and she just chooses to destroy the sunny and you know basically rip off just portions of it looking for the wedding cake she looks legitimately very sad about it but her hair is on fire while this is all happening so she's basically burning down the ship and you know then Jinbei basically steps in and I'm just gonna say this right now he is for Nakama of the year I heard that he is going to be definitely the next straw hair I mean not definitely definitely confirmed but he's going to be one of the next straw hats hopefully I always love Jinbei and he really stepped up this chapter and this whole arc he's been really i mean every time he's really just shown up he's there to save the straw hats and uh he just decided to clash against big mom like she, he actually took a whole entire napoleon beast mode sword to his arms with hockey albeit but you know like if uh, that's pretty impressive from a, from a Yonko, you know, Big Mom is kind of weakened because it's been uh, more than eight hours before she's had, I mean, since she's had food and she's really hungry, she still has the Renegon eyes, and she's not in 100% Iron Balloon mode, but she, uh, again, with Jinbei clashes with her twice, and on the first go, she sends him packing, but I feel like that was really a part of Jinbei's plan, because he goes into the water where he's more proficient being a fisherman, and he basically uh, does the smart thing and what needed to really happen at the moment, and sets uh, or comes back from the sea, does a fishman move with water, and sets the fire out that's on the sunny from Big Mom's hair, and then also sends Big Mom packing with, I mean, not really packing, but he actually lands a blow, an ultimate or a secret fishman technique. I'm not sure if Jinbei's used this before, but looked really, really cool with the art. The art's always amazing, and the art was excellent with this chapter, seeing the ver various stages of Big Mom. But it just it took me off guard that Jinbei was actually able to shoot Big Mom off the ship. I think this really goes to the next part, besides the fact that Jinbei is Nakama of the Year, that Big Mom is weaker than she was, slash she is really exhausted at the moment. You know, it's been over 10 hours since she's had something to eat, and she wants that wedding cake, and she's saying that she's going to kill Paro Sparrow if, you know, basically he lied about the cake being on the sunny, which this is, it's basically seeming like this, but Big Mom, like, like Big Mom will realize that, but Big Mom she is not as strong as she used to be you know like i think some other people were putting it in and in, in, when big mom has 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 fat she's basically in her iron balloon mode where she can't take any damage i mean we saw it with brooke where she just busted through steel i don't even know iron bars a whole entire wall she just took so much damage from a gear fourth luffy you know, she's just tanking everything. Like, she seemed impossible to even get a scratch on prior to her just going ballistic over Mother Caramel and not having the cake. So, the the, the fact that uh, Jinbei and furthermore Brooke and Nami can land shots like they did on this chapter is really only a testament to, the, to how weak Big Mom is from... Uh, the situation at hand which is interesting that oda has nerfed the two yonkos and the two situations that we've seen the fighting you know with whitebeard he was old whitebeard i mean although that was set up with big mom 
she was just literally on the level, like, she could be Tango Wing slash beating Kaido, arguably. I mean, I wouldn't argue that personally. I think Kaido would probably edge her out, but the fact that, that you know, Gear Fourth Luffy, she just fucking brushed it off. <laughs> King Kong gun, you know, like, it, it was nothing to Big Mom, and the fact that Jinbei was able to gear off the ship, you know, that's just like a Gear Fourth King Kong from Luffy would be a lot stronger than whatever Jinbei you know, the technique that Jinbei just used on Big Mom. Now, I think that means that hopefully Big Mom is not going to die this arc. That is kind of what I want to get into. I don't think she's going to die this arc. I hope that they kind of give her a good fight or something or let her fight later on in the series because I'd like to see someone take down Big Mom, but I don't think this is the time to do it because she's just kind of like, it would feel cheap if she just... Uh, gets defeated by the Straw Hats, you know, like, especially without Luffy there. So I think what's going to happen is that Sanji's going to just going to come in with the cake eventually before she ends up, I mean, she might actually destroy the Merry Go next chapter. I mean, she's on the way again. She's still on the hunt for the cake, which is surprising that she isn't just going back to kill Pero Sparrow at the end of the chapter. She's actually chasing the Straw Hats again. So Sanji really needs to get there faster. Luffy needs to fucking uh, do some of the gal, the situation, situation with Kata curry but i'm assuming we're gonna deal with this big mom situation then go back to luffy and kata curry but i really want to see what's going on with luffy and kata curry you know like that was i mean outside of seeing big mom just wreck shit which this chapter did it really fulfilled that whole entire i've been wanting to see big mom just wreck shit she's already been doing that but she didn't wreck the sunny go and she didn't i mean although this is a weekend big mom i still think it was a pretty awesome it just made this chapter really amazing now i wanted to talk about brooke also brooke it's the year of brooke i mean brooke has done more than sanji i mean yes i love sanji but like i don't think that like big mom gave sanji enough epic moments honestly over like besides the whole entire luffy versus sanji thing and him making a cake like he's just gonna make this cake and it's gonna be a plot device to get big mom to stop fighting basically and diffuse the you know like I, I really see Oda going down this path this path of oh my god I'm oh, well I'll just talk about Brooke first here quickly the thing with Brooke is that he just goes in and distracts Big Mom and gets in the ultimate panty joke I mean to basically distract Big Mom by saying you know may I see your panties this whole thing and which I thought that was amazing that he actually was able to say that like it was hilarious I just started laughing out loud but then like by the time you're done laughing you notice the panel where he's above Big Mom and he just slices Zeus in half. So it was pretty funny that he distracted Big Mom and even caught the reader off guard with that joke. Now, some people might think that's a, you know, a plot device or really just like the fact that he just used that joke and she's a Yonko. And I mean, she just got distracted by that and Zeus's, I mean, Brooke is technically father compared to Big Mom, like, you know, a full power Big Mom. But once again, going back to the point that Big Mom is weaker than what she really is, like... I think she would have, she's basically probably on the level of Whitebeard when he was at Marine Ford, if not a little bit weaker, just at this point of, like, she doesn't have the defense capabilities, you know, she really doesn't, it doesn't seem like she's using hockey, she wasn't using hockey on her punches, uh, it didn't look like Napoleon had hockey, it didn't look like she was using Conquerors whatsoever, so there's a little, it's a suspicious with how weak she is you know i mean i'm not gonna say anything yet because she looks beastly with napoleon and zeus like best parts of these chapters but um the fact that brooke was able to just do that it was just like a little bit weird but um you know i think next chapter what's ultimately gonna happen is that para is gonna be fucked in the next couple chapters like i do see big mom killing para sparrow somehow and I see her crack catching up to the straw hats and then also just Sanji kind of coming in to try to give her the cake because I think the second the cake gets into the situation or the battlefield that she will ultimately go for that cake but this I don't see her like I don't think she should just forgive the straw hats or just be cool with them just because they made the cake like she should eat, eat the cake and go back to slaughtering you know and I mean, I don't know how it's going to end up for everybody. It's really making this arc one of the best arcs of the new world, in my opinion. Just Yonko goodness fighting. It's, anything with Yonkos is usually really great. Oda fleshes out the characters. I mean, I love Big Mom's backstory. 
I thought she was going to be the least interesting Yonko. She ended up being probably the most interesting Yonko in terms of backstory so far. So I just wanted to make this video. I mean, a few other quick things is that Chopper made himself useful by defending Nami. Carrot's still asleep, so she's just kind of out of the ring right now. Sulong was amazing. It was so badass. And then the last thing I wanted to comment on was the fact that Nami just has Zeus now, which I find hilarious that she was basically saying that she'll kill Zeus if he doesn't comply. And I don't know, like, I think Big Mom will be able to track them through Zeus, but I don't think they're going to get away from Big Mom. We're out of seeing distance since they're just on the sea. So I just wanted to make this video on one piece chapter 890 quickly give you guys my thoughts and reactions i thought this chapter was amazing i would give it a five out of five it's one of those chapters where i was just on my toes the whole time just reading frame to frame everything was excellent about it including the artwork i was just a little sad i mean i'm pro it's probably better that they, they're focusing on the big mom and straw hat portion versus going back and forth between kakuri and luffy it would have killed the pacing kind of like dress rose almost but you know, I thought this chapter was amazing. I can't wait until the next chapter. There is no break, but because of the fact this is technically the 2018 chapter, I think we might not get a chapter next week, but I could be wrong. Either way, what? let me know down in the comment section, what do you guys think about the whole Big Mom situation and this chapter? I mean, I think Big Mom is ultimately being nerfed, and I hope that they don't just kill off Big Mom because this is the basically, like, I feel like Capone could probably do something, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like if they still had those VX rockets, honestly, but that was the chapter, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you guys have a good one, have a good one.